Here at the Pharmaceutical Engineering and 3D Printing Lab at the University of Texas at Austin, our work primarily focuses on pharmaceutical process engineering, continuous manufacturing, and 3D printing of medicines. Some of the additional projects in our lab include the 3D bioprinting of scaffolds, the manufacture of ultra-portable drug delivery devices, as well as smart medical implants. Today, in this short video, I would like to talk about some of the projects that are being conducted in the pharmaceutical engineering and 3D printing labs. Our, so our lab is divided into two components. One is the continuous manufacturing and 3D printing component, and the second is the bioprinting component. First, I'd like to introduce you to the continuous manufacturing and 3D printing component. Come on in. In the continuous manufacturing and 3D printing lab, we use equipment such as the hot melt extruder to develop filaments, with precisely tailored filaments that can be used in synergy with our fused deposition modeling printer. Why do we do this? Well, with this particular instrument, we are able to improve the solubility of various poorly water-soluble drugs and incorporate them into filaments which can ultimately be used for 3D printing. Now, let's go over to the FDM printer. This here is the fused deposition modeling printer, or in short, the FDM printer. This is the printer that we actually use in synergy with our hot melt extrusion process, where we create filaments which can be used as a raw feedstock material for this particular printer. Why is this useful? With this, we're able to actually print customized and personalized medicine for desired patient outcomes. We also use this particular printer when COVID for the COVID-19 pandemic to actually print face shields for our healthcare workers and students at the University of Texas at Austin. Here is an example of one of the face shields, that we, major components of the face shield that we were able to print. This, this is the Selective Laser Sintering Printer, or in, for short, the SLS printer. This is actually a printer, a 3D printer developed at the University of Texas at Austin. So it definitely holds a special place in our hearts. So why do we use this printer instead of the FPM printer? Well, this works on a separate mechanism. It works on the mechanism of a laser sintering various particles in order to create precise 3D construct. Using this printer, we are actually able to also improve the dynamic solubility of poorly water-soluble drugs, which is a uh, process disparate from the FDM and HME printing technique. The next component is the 3D printing and bioprinting lab. Come on in. This here is our extrusion-based bioprinter, which is pneumatically driven and used to print bioinks or biocompatible bioinks for tissue engineering and drug delivery purposes. A couple of the examples of the projects being conducted in this lab using this printer are the printing of complex skin mimicking constructs for the use in wound healing purposes, as well as for the printing of biosensors. This here is our inkjet printer. This works on the principle of drop-on demand and utilizes metal inks to produce microstructured devices which can be used for both cancer treatment as well as diagnosis. These here, these are our stereolithography printers, which uses a specialized photocurable resin to print high resolution 3D construct, which can be utilized in medical, for medical device manufacturing. One of the example projects utilizing these printers is the printing of nasal splints with antibacterial activity. 3D printing is an extremely exciting and versatile field for the future of drug delivery. And it will be great to have you on board the pharmaceutical engineering and 3D printing lab family.